Welcome back to the series and to episode 13. The boys are back and it's time for a new map, baby. Joe, it's time for a new everything with you. New heart, new liver, new brain. And maybe some new hair for you, you bald ass bitch. Shut your Waluigi looking ass up, you lanky loser. Well, it's business as usual around here, as you can see. Don, go ahead and take us to Hazy May's cave. It's time to finish that one up. Sounds like a plan. And Joe, it's not time for the new map yet, but that will come later. God damn it, man. Relax, Joe, it will come in time. Time is a scarce resource for him, Barry. Shut the fuck up, Don. Go make faces at kids with your stomach fat. That's scarier than anything I ever see for Halloween. This is a pretty dope month, I'm not gonna lie. I love all things spooky. And it's time for some spooky good gameplay, which you're about to see. I wish we had saved Big Boo's haunt for this month. That would have been great, I agree, but Hazy Maze is still a fairly creepy cave map full of spiders and bats. Yeah, it'll do nicely. So which star are you gonna get? Well, I don't think we've done Watch for Rolling Rocks yet, so I'm gonna get that one. And I'm not gonna use any parallel universes to get it. Did you really have to make that reference? That poor guy has probably heard enough about his Rolling Rocks Parallel Universe video. Didn't ask anyway, watch these skills. Oh, come on, Don, eat one of those big ass boulders. Joe, why don't you hold my boulders for me? Jesus Christ, Donald, you do not have boulders. No one wants to hear about your testicles. Barry, I'll talk about my balls whenever I want, bro. I'm a man and men have balls. Remember that, kids. Huh, please, that is enough. Someone's jealous. Donald, I am not jealous of your balls, and I certainly don't call mine boulders. Skill issue? I, uh... Got something to say, zombie freak? Yes, I do. I just smoked a fat-ass motherfucking joint, and I feel great. Jesus. And I wanted to say that, uh... Don, you should talk about your balls if you want to, bro. Fucking thank you. We're big, strong men. We throw our balls around. Hell yeah. Lo like a sign of aggression. That's my guy. Ladies love it. It's like a mating call. Joe coming in with the smoke, literally. Finally, someone here is making some goddamn sense. You guys are the cringiest shitheads around. Now pay attention and check out this move. I ain't riding this thing all the way. Holy shit, Barry. Bro, what the fuck? I didn't know you could get all those red coins up there without riding the platform. Well, it's kind of like that one holiday this month. Huh? Which one? Trick or trade, Don. Oh, fuck off, dude. Hey, guys, in light of Halloween and all that, what is your favorite spooky map in a Nintendo game? Oh, that's easy. Mad Monster Mansion from Banjo-Kazooie. The music, the level design, the eerie atmosphere. You can't tell me that map didn't have you on edge as a kid. God, that is a great pick. I love Grant Kirkhope's work in that game, but that level is one of his standout tracks for sure. Yeah, that level is a real slopperoo. What about you guys? Well, for and me, And before it's you the... answer, Barry, I'm gonna put this beanie here until y'all decide to buy Joe, one. Joe, what the Get fuck? Get that off the screen, Joe. What are you doing? It's called salesmanship, Barack. Beanie sales are gonna go up 5% after this video. Just you watch. The derailing, the cruelty, the horror. You know what, Barry? I think it just might work. Hell yeah, Donald. In fact, fuck 5%, Joe. We're going for 10%. Let's put another one over here. You guys are ruining the stream. This is all you do. He's right, Don. How about 15%? One beanie out there for each of us, the three amigos. Great idea, Joe. Let me throw another up there. Looks perfect, dude. Truly a masterpiece, though the one you put up is a little crooked. Oh, don't get fat with me, Donald. You guys are unbelievable. Can we just get back to your earlier question, Joe? Oh, absolutely. Kind of forgot about it, to be honest. Now that figures. Shut the fuck up, well, you Yoshi Well, for me, Yoshi it's Yanker. the entirety of Luigi's Mansion. The first time I popped that baby into my GameCube, I didn't sleep for a week. On God, I snuck into my mama's bed every night and placed my fingers firmly around her nipple for security. That game fucked me up so bad. But real talk, Luigi's Mansion is a thematic masterpiece. The sequels don't even come close to capturing the sheer tension, the suffocating atmosphere, the feeling that nowhere is safe. That mansion haunts me to this day, but I play this game every October to remind myself that courage is not being fearless. It's feeling the fear and doing it anyway. That was beautiful, Barack. I'm gonna shed a tear for real. Aw, oh, thanks guys. Say, Joe, what's yours? Well, my pick might be a bit unusual, but I gotta go with a hat in time. Particularly, Chapter 3, Subcon Forest, Act 6, Queen Vanessa's Manor. It's a traditional stealth mission and the presentation is just unreal. It's up there with a real good horror movie, in my opinion, not to mention it's one of the best 3D platform games out there. Joe, that is a god-tier pick and I ain't capping. Truly, an incredible game. And that mission is one of the highlights. But Joe, that's not a Nintendo game. Huh? But it's literally on the Switch. True, but I figured by Nintendo game you meant either a game made by Nintendo or a game made specifically for Nintendo. Oh, well, yeah, I guess that's what I intended. In that case, that spooky level in Glover is pretty great. 
Nobody plays Glover Joe. Nobody fists your mom either, dude. What a coincidence. If I shove my fist so far down your throat that it comes out your ass, does that count as fisting you, Joe? Knock it the fuck off, guys. And Joe, Glover isn't a Nintendo exclusive either, for that matter. Glover? I hardly know her. Good one, moron. I think it's sleepy time now. Oh, shut your mouth, Don, or I'll impale you with the sleepy time swinger. You'll hit me with the what? Joe, what the hell is a sleepy time swinger? It's, uh... My God, my head hurts. Another one of those migraines? He comes up with the strangest shit, doesn't he? That's what happens when he doesn't take his medicine. Uh, guys, I'm sitting right here. You don't have to talk about me in third person. Okay, seriously, can we remove these ridiculous fucking hats? Bro doesn't want any sales. I can't afford a pay cut, Barry. Joe, you are the president of the United States. If you are having financial issues, that's definitely a you problem. Never expected a liberal to encourage financial responsibility. Shut the fuck up, hush money. Go beg your cultist lackeys and cronies for more campaign funding, you bankrupt bitch. Geez, take it easy, Barack. It was just a prank, bro, chill. Your useless gaslighting is not doing you any favors. And Joe, go ahead and finish up this 100 coin star, buddy. Roger that, Barry. Let me just ride Lapras here. It's not fucking Lapras. Yeah, Joe, what the hell are you some kind of moron? That's clearly not Lapras. Donald, if you take his side on this, I swear to God I'm leaving the stream. I'm just kidding you, bro. Of course that's Lapras. Fucking figures you clowns would be in cahoots on this. <laughs> anyway, nice job, Joe. I know that was a long and tough star, but you did it. Yeah, I hope it wasn't too taxing on your fragile body. Eat a fat cock, Don. All right, Don, go ahead and jump back in there. We've got one more star to get. Uh... I think we're done with this map. No, no, there's definitely one more star we haven't done. Wait. What's wrong, Barry? It's complete. But we never did star number four. What are you talking about? I probably went through the toxic maze like eight times. No, y yes, but for other stars. None of us grabbed this particular star. I think I can explain. What do you mean? Yeah, so I was bored in between the filming of episodes three and four, and I, uh, I went and grabbed this star just for fun. You did what? I could pull your it's not a big off. deal, Obama. Let's just right, move guys, on. Not a big deal? It means our whole run is invalid. Prohibidado. Uh, oh, you're so fucked, Don. What is the point of this, seriously? I must confirm my worst fears. <laughs> Barry, what are you- Hush. I have to fix this. But how can you fix it? He already got the damn thing. Now, do we have to start from the beginning again? Just keep this between us. Is that camera off? Uh, yeah, I think so. Good. Cut this part out of the video. Make sure no one on Twitch and YouTube sees what I just did. But wait, did you just get rid of the star? How did you do that? Trick of the trade, Joe. Wow. Anyway, now we can officially get this star for the viewers. Go ahead and put us live on the air again, Joe. All right, we should be back now. Fellow viewers, welcome back to the stream. We sincerely apologize. We were just having some technical difficulties. Yeah, some fat ass difficulties. Right now, we're grabbing the final star of Hazy Maze Cave. And if you're wondering where Don is, he's got to do some emergency maintenance in our game room and we'll be out for the remainder of this broadcast. Awesome possum. So Barry, are you playing anything new recently? Well, I just bought Mario Party Jamboree the other day. And I could already tell as I was loading it up that it would be Liddy as a titty. What about you, Joe? Oh, I've been no-lifing this new tycoon game, TCG Card Shop Simulator. You literally play as the owner of a hip new card shop in town and build your business, unlocking new merchandise and expanding your shop as you go. I think I stayed up three straight nights in a row the first night I downloaded it. That shit is more addictive than Coke. I, uh, I won't ask you to disambiguate that last word, but... Heck yeah, that game does sound like a solid experience. It sure is. So is it time for the new map? Yes, sir. I'll have us there in no time, and it'll be your turn first. Oh my god, that's so exciting. Right? All right, take it away, Joe. You know it, dude. So what is this map? This is Tall Tall Mountain, one of my favorites. Its use of verticality is on point, and it features some of the most fun platforming this game has to offer, if you ask me. Oh, I like it already, Barry. The flowing river, the mountainous terrain, the giant mushrooms. Hell yeah, buddy. There's a lot to explore here. Oh, shit, shit, shit. You're good, dude. Just take it slow. Oh, this log makes me nervous. You got it, buddy. What are you so worked up about? Oh, I don't know. I just think it doesn't feel the same without Don here. 
even if he is a colossal scallywag for getting a star without us. Well, look, we can check on him after we grab a star, okay? Okay, how about that one? That was a really good idea, Joe. You just overshot your momentum a bit. Uh, do you know what I'm gonna ask you? I sure do. Hand it over, pal, I got this one. Thanks, Barry. Now don't tell me there's some insane way to get this star. Well, the intended way is to open up the cannon and shoot over to it. And while the way you tried is a much safer option, neither are particularly fast. So we use the tox box. The tox box? The tox box. Barry, you make me hard as diamonds sometimes. Thanks, Joe. But please never say that to me again. My bad, Barry. Can we check on Don? We sure can. <sighs> Those fucking losers. Don't want to play with them anyway. Fucking Barry and know it all, and Joe with his sleepy time swinger. He's probably talking about his limp dick. God. Oh, fuck, he is coming this way. Damn it. All right, time to take him on a tour of the map. Yeah, check out the truck, bitch. Peace out. Oh, perfect. We'll flash to the face, and Don's off to the race. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Can't see me now, can you, bitch? <laughs> Are you winning, son? What the fuck are you guys doing here? We just came to watch you play a little bit and to invite you back in for the rest of the broadcast. And why would I want to play with the two of you? Because it's not the same without you, Donald. You, you mean that? We do. Though I do want to say I felt pretty disrespected that you messed with our game file that we were using for the official videos. That just seemed kind of careless of you, man. Look, Obama, Joe, I'm sorry, guys, all right? I should have thought about that and just played on my own file. But I mean it. I really am sorry. Well, put it in a Hallmark card, asshole. Shut the fuck up, Joe. All right, come on. It's your turn, Don, and we've got a few stars left to do. All right, all right. I'm coming. I take it star number one is still available? How'd you guess? Because I've played about three and a half games of Dead by Daylight, and that's the average duration of one of Joe's turns. Oh, eat a dick, you moron. Now, fellas, in light of the approach of Halloween, what are you guys dressing up as this year? Well, I see Joe already has his costume on. What are you, a ghoul or a creepy zombie? Shut the fuck up, Don, you Monty Mole Mounter. I'll have you know Jill and I are going as Captain Jack Sparrow and Elizabeth Swan from Pirates of the Caribbean. Ooh, hey, that's I love neat. that idea. Haha, <laughs> thanks. I'm going to go out to the bar and repeatedly ask them, why is the rum gone? Until they kick me out. Then I'll just hop over to the next bar and the next bar rinse and repeat until I get bored. Huh, amazing. What about you, Don? I'm going as the lion from The Wizard of Oz. And Melania and my beautiful daughter Ivanka are going as lambs. Hmm, is that some weird fetish you guys have? Shut the fuck up, Joe. You are one weird motherfucker. Says the ghost of President's past. What about you, Barry? Well, the family and I are going as different characters from The Jungle Book, one of our favorite films. The kids are so excited. The costumes should arrive in a few days. That's so cool, Barack. Which character are you going as? Oh, I'm going as King Louis. Why do you need a costume, then? Shut the fuck up, Don. <laughs> but yeah, it should be a good time. Oh, I fucking love Halloween. Best holiday of the year, if you ask me. Hey, you guys got plans after the kids go to bed that night? I could use some help out finding the rum. Oh, we got your back, Joe. Oh, yeah, count me in. I'm down to get Swifty. All right, last star of the video, guys. It seems like it takes a while to get up there. It's the length of the whole map. If you've learned anything from this series, Joe, it's that Barry doesn't play the game the intended way. He's probably gonna dive through a wall and shoot halfway up the waterfall or something. Wait, what the fuck? Donald, did you just speak that into existence? Huh? Oh, sorry, I was looking at my phone. What did I miss? Oh, nothing much. Just another trick of the trade, Don. Thank God I wasn't looking. Goddamn, dude, you're skipping the whole mountain. That's the idea. So what will the next map be after this one? Well, there's only two main courses, a side course and the final Bowser course left. Comment below if you think you know what the next course will be. And subscribe so you don't miss the next exciting upload. And thank you so much, my dear viewers, for joining us once again. We will see you next time.